Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad, the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. This week, we continue our look at Zechariah, and today we cover chapter 11. Thus said the Lord my God, be a shepherd of the flock doomed to slaughter. Those who buy them kill them and go unpunished, and those who sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I have become rich, and their own shepherds have no pity on them. For I will no longer have pity on the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord. I will cause them, every one, to fall each into the hand of a neighbor, and each into the hand of the king. And they shall devastate the earth, and I will deliver no one from their hand. So on behalf of the sheep merchants, I became the shepherd of the flock doomed to slaughter. I took two staffs, one I named Favor, the other I named Unity, and I tended the sheep. Then I broke my second staff, Unity, annulling the family ties between Judah and Israel. Then the Lord said to me, take once more the implements of a worthless shepherd. I like to call this chapter, Shepherds Beware, because God is addressing the bad shepherds, the shepherd leaders who did not properly lead the people, as referenced back in chapter 10. So in this vision, Zechariah plays the part of an uncaring shepherd, and money not the people become the priority, and it sounds like the worst case scenario. But hold on, it gets worse. Zechariah takes over the flock from the shepherds, and he breaks the covenant, which symbolizes the separation of Judah and Israel, the two kingdoms. Now, here's my interpretation. Zechariah is acting like a human shepherd who has forgotten his call. A shepherd is supposed to take care of his flock, to love and protect the flock, and Zechariah does the opposite. He makes it all about money. He also breaks the covenant, the promise of protection and love. In a way, I see it as you are on your own. So we might say, but that doesn't sound like God. And you would be right. But what it sounds like is the truth behind the false shepherds in our lives. The false ones want money, our money, and they do not care about us. And yet, we take them at their word, even if those words are untrue. Because the false ones say what we want to hear and not what we need to hear. But the role of the prophet is to say what needs to be heard. And Zechariah is showing the Israelites what these false shepherds are really like. That gets their attention. Does it get yours? Good, I hope so. That's the point. So the questions I leave with you today are, now that you know what the false shepherd is saying, will you keep listening? Now that you know what the false shepherd is preaching, will you keep obeying? Or will you come back to the only God who cares and loves you? It's your move, folks. What are you going to do? Thank you for listening today. I will see you tomorrow for another edition of God's Minute. You take care and God bless.